Hey guys, what's going on? It's George, and today I decided that I wanted to do something a bit different with my channel and start a new series called Server Basics. This is going to be the first episode, and I'm going to be using, as you can see, uh, Virtual virtual Box. And some things I'd like to mention is that uh, I'll probably have a tutorial on how to do some of this stuff. Um, I'm not going to go over how to install uh, Windows Server, it's really easy. Um, maybe I will maybe later but for now I'm assuming you know how to do this under networking it's really important that um, you use a bridge adapter and under promiscuous mode I allow VMs virtual machines um, other than that everything else should be uh, the same again it's both for your client PCs and for your server so uh, here I am on the server and uh, the first thing you're gonna have to do is uh, go ahead and go through the validation put your activation keys if you're in university uh, you can uh, get this stuff for free uh, if not um, you can just use the trial version for learning purposes uh, anyways and then you have to change your time and all that stuff you can do that on your own make sure you set your time to the internet time and uh, have it do that and set the right time zone of course um, anyways we're gonna go here to the server manager you can find that also in Start, Administrative Tools, Server Manager. Uh, right now, under the Role section, we have zero roles installed. And um, also, if you're going to do this in a real environment, be sure to put in a good antivirus as well as uh, as doing all your updates. I haven't done all the updates yet, so uh, I might run into problems and have to do the updates later. But uh, but we'll just see. Uh, I know I'm not going to run into problems right now. So the first thing we want to do is uh, under the roles tab, uh, you want to add a role. And I'm going to go ahead and skip this page by default. Essentially, these are a list of roles that your server can have. The first role that you want on a server, usually, typically, is the Active Directory Domain Services role. And uh, it's going to ask you here that it also needs to download this. Go ahead and add that. Um, so there, yeah, Active Directory. And uh, pretty much what Active Directory is, it's where you you store pretty much all of your users, your organizational units, printers, and uh, as well as your computers. And then from there, you can uh, organize the permissions as to who can do what and uh, on which computers can they do it on and so on and so, uh, so, on and so forth uh, essentially it's really a security tool and it, it's more of a uh, uh, for convenience as well when we get start getting into things like group policy uh, you'll see how convenient it is uh, when you're able to uh, deploy shared drives uh, deploy software uh, onto the computer without having to go to every single individual client computer and do it manually you can just simply do it from the server and it'll take care of it on its own and so uh, things like that is what makes having a server very very useful alright so the installation uh, is still going uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video really quick and uh, get back to you once it's done alright so the uh, the installation is done uh, go ahead and click the close button and uh, the Active Directory service is on there. Now, once that's on there, excuse me, you can go and create users. The way you do that is you go to Start, Administrative Tools. Now you're going to see a couple of these Active Directory uh, things like, um, I'm not sure, group policies on here. Um, yeah, well, you got the Active Directory stuff, so that's really. Uh, what we need right now. So, Active Directory users and computers, that's what you want to click on. As you can see right now, uh, you have nothing in here. So, what you want to do is you want to go back to your roles here you want to add a role you want to add the uh, DNS server role 
but before you do that uh, I'll go back to the services really quick as you can see there's like an X here for a reason um, this says that you need to run the installation file the installation wizard yeah, you can just double cl click on this once or you can go here and do it um, the nerdy way essentially with DC promo run it and that's gonna go ahead and install the active directory going click next next um, you want to create a new forest in this case because it's the very first one I'm gonna call it um, domainia.local you can also call it whatever you want com I like using dot local in this case so domainia dot local it's gonna be really easy to remember and very creative obviously <laughs> and this is a will be the name of your domain your root domain okay it's checking it out seeing if it's good to go okay it's verifying it now so it looks like it was uh, of course not used in the forest functional level you want to leave this as Windows Server 2003 uh, domain functional same thing uh, this is because um, some older computers like maybe Windows XP computers or if you have other uh, Server 2003 servers in your network uh, the information might not um, pass through well and you might see some weird things going on in the network so what you want to do is just just keep it at, as Windows 2003 uh, if this is your only server uh, you can just go ahead and use 2008 R2 that'll work just fine it's up to you but I like keeping it at server 2003 because uh, I feel like that's what I feel more secure with if later on maybe I add a an older server you never know so alright so it's doing that DNS stuff I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video really quick and wait for it to come back alright so it looks like uh, we're pretty much uh, almost done now we just have to add the DNS server one thing that I did forget to mention um, that we want to change the uh, network settings here so um, what I'm gonna do is gonna run a quick com command prompt as administrator I'm gonna do a command uh, ipconfig forward slash all I'm gonna go up um, now what I want to do is I want to find the uh, the um, network interface card uh, which usually we'll find that in the change adapter settings right click on that properties and um, here we have our IPv4 settings what we want is to have this server set as static IP um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 192.168.77.1 and then I'm going to have the subnet mass of uh, class C right now is 192.177.1 and the DNS server I believe is also the same thing yeah 192, 192.168.77.1 and that's what we want to have it as at this point so uh, once we're done there just uh, close that and we should still be okay um, if we do an IP config uh, dash all again now we should have that 100 now ping google.com and we're pinging it just fine and we're gonna ping the default gateway and we're gonna ping it just fine alright good control C by the way we'll go ahead and just close the command uh, what I'm doing so alright cool so now I have to add the DNS server back here uh, it's requesting it to be done so go ahead and do it as well go ahead and click next and it's, it's gonna go ahead and take care of this in a couple of minutes 
Alright, it prompts me with this uh, warning message. Uh, you just want to continue. Uh, at this point, leave everything default. Then here you want to come up with a pretty secure uh, domain administrator password. You have to have at least one capital letter and one number and one lowercase letter. For this purpose, I'm just going to make something really simple. Something that's probably going to be the same throughout this. Alright, now it's going to go ahead and take care of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the reboot on completion. And I'll be right back once the computer boots up. Alright, now the computer has completely rebooted. And uh, we're going to go ahead and insert a control out delete. Now you notice that we have the domain name Dominia uh, Administrator. Go ahead and enter that administrator password that you entered uh, during the installation. For me, uh, just for testing purposes right now, it's uh, password1, capital P. It doesn't really matter whether you know this or not, but you know, might as well <laughs> just tell you. It's a good little tester one, or it's a good one when you create users, uh, which will be in our next tutorial. So, essentially, that's it. That is everything that you need to know um, about how to install uh, Active Directory and exactly what it is. Uh, now, in the next episode, I'm going to go into exactly um, what it is that uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Don't Show. Um, go more into detail as to what this active directory is and how to use it and um, create a, cu a couple of users and organizational units don't know what I'm talking about don't worry about it uh, we'll go ahead and talk about it uh, in the next video um, I'm wondering whether something's gonna pop up in a second asking me to finish the installation but I don't think so I think everything is is pretty much done here oh, there you go <laughs> we still got a couple of things let's just see where this takes us it might not be anything it might just be a yeah yeah it might not have been anything All right. well uh... so i like having if you go to your start menu you're gonna see this active directory users and computers uh... i like having this uh... not on the start menu but i like having it in the uh... desktop so what you can do at that point if you want to do that you can of course go to start administrative tools go to your director active directory users and computers right click on it send to and desktop so I'll just create the shortcut uh, so now if we if we can get all this crap out of the way there you go we have the active directory icon on there so alright well that's uh, pretty much all that I have for you guys today um, and uh, in the next episode again I'm gonna go over creating a user with the active directory and uh, and we'll go from there alright hope you all enjoyed the video if you guys liked it please make sure to leave a like down there if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below um, or, uh, I mean, if you want to keep up with these uh, server tutorials, go ahead and uh, click above me in the subscribe button. And uh, I hope to see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.